Hi, this is Mike WA32TS, and I did the mod on the NFJ259B to get it to tune down to the 630 and 2200 meter bands. You add some inductors uh, to the bottom end circuit, and you switch them in. Uh, KB5NJD has that information, and we won't go over it here. But anyway, uh, when you do this, you try to get uh, R50 and X equals zero, of course, and it turns out that for a test, and it turns out that a lot of our 50 ohm loads aren't 50 ohms at uh, 475 or 137 kilohertz, they're a little lower than that. And also the other thing that happens is um, the straight capacitance uh, starts to affect things a whole lot more. turns out I had to add uh, almost two microhenries here to this pair of uh, 100 ohm resistors to get it to come up to uh, zero ohms. I still went back to sleep. There we go. Nah, I'm going to do that. Okay. So it's showing 50 ohms there. Now if I switch over to uh, the other side of it, this is a uh, Q circuit tester. What we're doing is we're tuning out the uh, reactants in the circuit. This will go up and down with the capacitor here. And you'll see it come in the line. You'll see resonance happen. It's kind of hard to do with staring at the camera at the same time. But anyway, there it is. And there's 51 ohms. Okay, so that's 2 pi FL over R, and 50 to 51, I got 1 ohm of uh, resistance there, and I could probably get that reactance back. Yeah, see, I can get that reactance down to 2 ohms, and it doesn't change. So I got uh, the Q is 2 pi FL uh, over R, which is 1 ohm, the difference between 50 and 51. So I got a, a Q of over 400 on this thing. And if I put this guy in, it's... Uh, another 150 uh, microhenry inductor that's made with uh, wire wrap, kinder wire, I uh, get 2 ohms. So the Q on this is half of the Q of this one, and this is the inductors I'm, I'm using on my uh, coupled resonator filter. So anyway, interesting thing to note here, when you're playing with this and you see an X value of a few ohms or say 10 ohms on the, on the 2200 meter band. What you need to do with your load is to add some series inductance with it because the straight capacitance starts to become a whole lot more prominent at the low frequencies. And um, it was neat to find that out. I was playing around with uh, a couple different inductors and it, you know, this guy started to show some change in this one and I have another one around here somewhere I don't know that it's visible that's no, not but it turned it out I needed a couple of micro Henry's here to uh, compensate for the straight capacitance so something to think about when you're toying around on these bands uh, straight capacitance so throw, will throw your loads off uh, by several ohms of reactants or more sometimes 73 from WA3 TTS